Bro. Ooh, let's talk about this. Because yeah. I know I know there's this tension. There's in this a big room. raft in the room. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I feel yeah, the tension in the room. Yeah, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Okay, the, uh, for, so, so you were in software engineering, right? For Congress, yeah. yeah. I'm in computer science. Yeah, I have okay. more credits yeah. to do. Um, Fight. No, I'm joking. Yeah, but like s- s- shitty credits. Like who cares about those credits? Well, okay, do you have software validation courses? Well, that's only one course. No, that that's I just... not only one course. Do you have, oh. for example, um, what's it called? Intro to software. Like, uh, do you learn about... Uh, well, you guys are talking about this. I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Yeah, go ahead. Sure. conversation. Go ahead. I'm a finance bro. Yeah. <laughs> go talk about finance shit, got me? We're gonna have a debate here, a hot debate. <sighs> Comp sci, uh, to learn structuring and like opening a company and all that stuff and coming up with things like that, you have to go through experience, you know? But as a software engineer, you have those courses that like kind of tell you about how the like the real world is when you want to open up your own app, how you start like creating a roadmap. Like, have you ever had a course where you create a roadmap to an application? Uh, and like, for example, getting user requirements from a user, software requirements, for example, that course I'm referring to. Well, Did see, you ever have something similar? Well, n- not in a very practical way. Computer science is more into like theoretical and abstract stuff. But here's the thing though. You have 70 credits that you can attain in, in com- computer science and other, you have to, they have to put 120 credits, right? So I have 50 credits left. So if you're actually very curious about those stuff, you can pour in those 50 credits into those, which what I did, like database systems, for example, which is the course that I'm taking right now. It's It, it shows oh, you how data, course. it's very interesting. And it's something that is not required in computer science. But if you're actually curious to learn about those stuff, then you have that opportunity, right? If you don't care about GPA and you wanna you wanna really actually learn stuff, yeah. that's the thing. And one thing that I would argue against software engineering. Just one question. Just one question before you continue. Yeah, go. Do you have an engineering ring? Bro, I don't give a fuck about an engineering. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Who okay, gives okay. a fuck that's about an engineering? Ego, it's talking. Why would you? You're you not an engineer. Computer science, not engineering. Yeah. Hey, here, let me tell you something. Yeah, I don't want to talk. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, man. Okay, uh, look at this. Software engineering, you only learn practical stuff. Once you want to learn abstract stuff, there's no way in fucking hell that after you graduate, you're going to want to learn about abstract stuff. But here's the thing about... Stuff. I'm going to tell you what it is. Computer science really teaches you the abstract stuff. And what I mean by abstract stuff is the ins and outs about how like low level everything is built in in terms oh, of we do have in terms that. of computation. Do you do you learn uh th- Comp three thirty? Yeah, you can take it. You, you can you can take it, but you don't have it. It's like the same not all thing. software engineers. Did you take it's it? It's the same thing. No, because it's hard. He didn't take it. Okay, but here's I the thing. I want to graduate, bro. I'm shit in studying. Here's we the thing, though. We talked about this, by the way. Remember, we just talked about this. He didn't want to take it. He didn't take it oh, because it's hard. Because it's hard. See, yeah. see, see, th- 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 like there's many people in software and in computer science that only want the GPA. So you saying that you can take it doesn't mean that you I everyone don't want would the GPA. take it. I want to graduate. It's the difference. Yeah, there's a difference. C's well, get ask, degrees. Ask, okay? him, ask him how many times he failed the street math. How many times? He has PTSD on the street math. Stop saying the lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> I finally guy. passed over the beat. Okay, yeah, the beat, right, my guy. With a beat, okay. bro. I thought I was failing. By the way, I was about to like go on Minerva and try to like you know register for the next. <laughs> I was like, no fucking way. I went to this final exam and I'm graduating. And then I look at like, oh, I got a B. Nice. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, let me finish my thought. So computer science, you have very like you go into the abstract thing, the abstract low level of things, mm-hmm. right? But the practical side that is not in computer science, you can take that from any internship that you do in summer or whatever it is. So you actually have that practical experience from internship and the abstract knowledge of what goes in and out of, of a computer. But here's the thing about software. They only teach you about practical. So all no, you do, in, so have, all you do yeah, is, is practical stuff. Courses. But not as much as well. You. Yeah, it's all relative, right? So, yeah, like, so it's it's it, like it's computer science has relatively more abstract so, stuff. Yeah, than, so basically, than computer science. basically, computer science and it's in the word. It's the science behind the like the software or like any like uh, theories. Like you know, it's like the abstract stuff. Yeah. Engineering, like your like software engineering, like what is an engineer? Okay, he designs solutions, right? The problems. So a software engineer, you learn how to design software as a solution. It's for comp sci, you're just learning the low level, in my opinion, useless shit. Like the very low level granular granular shit that 
I don't give a shit about, you know? Man, shitting on your... I'm going to get all my CS friends. I'm going to fuck you up, bro. <laughs> I'm going to fuck you up. Uh, we're going to hack uh, you, bro. Come on. A bunch of we're going we're gonna to do some abstract math to fuck your, to fuck your Shopify bro, account. Just bring discrete map, bro. It's I'll just bring discrete map. You got to be... I got to fuck again, discrete map. I know my shit, bro. <laughs> I know my shit. Okay, but what does it... Like, how does it... This, yeah, some courses. Some courses. What? Course, what, well, what in like software? I don't like know, some life. courses are useless. They are. As yeah, fuck. That's true. Like that's very. True. I never ever ever, you know, applied anything I learned in the street math and like fucking software. Like maybe just a tiny little bit in permutations. Yeah. But that's it. One could argue that you would use the thinking. Uh, like the, the logical the, 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 thinking, yeah. yeah, the logical th and applying it to other. It's like a tool that you would use it in other stuff. But th well, let me tell you. Let me yeah, tell yeah, you about that. Um, those things that you, uh, for example, design and all that stuff, not only uh, they come basically from experience. You know, like designing projects and shit. But in my opinion, there are some really good books that tackle these things very thoroughly. For example, one of my like. Uh, Nice books that I'm still reading because it's long. And it's not like a book that you read once and you just throw throw away in the side. It's like a book that you always open every five minutes while you're working. When you you're need like, something. Yeah. What, is, yeah. what is it called? Design Patterns. Mm. So it teaches you how to basically, uh, you know, uh, approach a problem using reusable code. Like, for example, you want to work on implementing something. Um, how can I implement this? in a way that I can abstract this code and maybe use it somewhere else. You know, like for example, um, I cannot come up with an example right now since sure. it's, a, it's a very abstract thing, but like instead of, for example, just going straight forward for a solution and just, even though it's efficient, even though for example, it's all of N or even less, even though it's an efficient solution, um, it's not always the best because you design it in a way that, oh, you're gonna have to code again for something else instead of for using this. Mm. So you code in a way thinking like, oh, this is my company, or this is the product I'm working on. In a future uh, iteration, how can I reuse the stuff that I'm working on right now and somewhere else? So it's pretty interesting and it's pretty challenging. That's like one of the challenging stuff when designing something. And is it is there a course for this in 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 Mikio? Um, like design patterns. Something that's pretty close to it. It's called. Um, um, what was it called? Uh, model driven develop. Model -driven oh, model driven software development. It's five uh, two two, I think. Five, yeah, it's a five level. It's a five hundred yeah, level, level course. Level course. Yeah. yeah, I've seen that. That one. Uh, it, it was one of my favorite courses that I took. I have a question. Mm, so correct me if yeah. I'm wrong because I'm not really in this industry. But no more heat. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not in this industry. But um, yeah. as a software engineer, like implementing something doesn't have to be hard. But coming up with the idea to implement it is hard, right? So like, like you said, creative thinking and coming up with um, the way to the solution is hard, but the solution itself is easy, you know? Well, well, well both are hard in their own way, I think. Like designing the, the idea and, for example, let's talk about backend, right? Because backend is going to, I think it would take the most time, right, in building a project. Yeah. Um, designing the kind of the database uh, how things, how entities relate to other entities. I think that is some part of like the hardness of it, but also the implementation is hard. Also, the coding takes a lot of time, and and you have to be mindful of how to um, code in a way that's reusable, uh, understandable, and readable. you know, yeah, and readable. Yeah, you have to have software engineers come in after and see this code and not fucking complain about the uh, about the code and ask you about it about every line of it. Do you feel like as a, as a computer side major, do you have that advantage over the software where you have the creative mind more of more than a technical side? Oh, of course. Side? Yeah, yeah, of course. No. Of course. Oh, of course. No, of course. Bro, no. Of course. What do you mean, of course? Of course. You don't have, you you don't have nice design patterns as a we, we, What's the point of computer side and software engineering? Why isn't it one degree? That's, that's so the question. So comp, comp side, you learn the, the, not the, not the how, not the why, the, the how. The how. Which is, like, which is something very, that's very important. It is important. I'm not saying it's not important, but I don't give a shit about it. Do you it. not learn the how? Uh, well, you don't go into details that much. For example, let's say you want to do this. Software engineering, they're going to tell you you have to do that. He comes in and he tells you like how this is actually broken down and why yeah. you have to use oh, that. Yeah, exactly. Okay.
part of your it job works, is googling, right? Like, I want to say you it, don't know everything that you want. But know. it's more practical stuff. Software engineering stuff are more Googleable than computer science topics. I'm gonna tell you why because low level stuff are not Googleable. Yeah, you need you to cannot learn. Google about how a fucking algorithm works and like you like, have to watch a lecture.